All right. We're back. Here we are, back in the not-so-good shed, sweating it up with the Ooh, boys, Grazie and Hutto, doing another brewery showcase. And this week, Future Brewing from Sydney. What do you reckon? I'm keen. Yeah. Grats? Yeah. I'm keen as. Consistency yeah. is what I'm looking for. I reckon they'll deliver. Absolutely. Are they close to the Mecca? They are close to the Mecca. Very close to the Mecca. Been chasing them down since 2021. Can't wait to get stuck into them. Let's do it. We should get a little um, temperature gauge in here because it is red hot. Well, that's yes. why we drink yeah. beer. That's why we yeah. drink beers in here. Well, bloody hell. We need to get some crack of that. Border barrels. Back for another bloody episode. We've been on a bit of a hiatus, it seems. Had the off-season. Had the off-season. Uh, the boys have had a bit on with, you know, family stuff. Um, can I tell them the news? was on. Can I tell them the news? Oh, I can, but it's not relevant. Oh, well, uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't had another kid. Good on you, Hutto. He's pretty Thanks. cute too. Must have paid the stalk extra. Me or the baby? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Well, you're pretty cute. Uh, you you <laughs> Thanks, know man. that. You know that. And grats his boat. What were you up to? You did a bit. You've always got something going on. I've been on a big holiday. You yeah, went on a holiday and saw a few... Um, Saw a few breweries. Might mention a few things as we go through the pod about some of the cool places I went because uh, some really awesome places out there. Let me tell you a story about a yeah, brewery. and some friends of ours that I got to visit, which was really yeah, really cool. How yeah. good? Yeah, awesome, good stuff. Um, well, do we just dive right into it? We've sort of forgotten how to yes, do any of this. Yeah, we uh, have. So we just drink the beer, I suppose. Yeah, well, we'll That's get we'll I get straight do. into it. But it is important to note that we are back. Um, and no one has asked for this, um, <laughs> but we are back anyway. So um, if you could like it, subscribe, that'd be great. Got a number of uh, new followers, so hello to you guys, and hopefully there's a few good little reels getting around. Um, Hutto organises those, so thanks Hutto for your good work. What do I organise? That's all right. It was, Sorry, a, it was a compliment. Out. You didn't have to. Didn't have to. <laughs> it's, it's fine. But yeah, it's my turn this week, and my turn normally get, gets a bit wayward because the uh, research isn't that good and the presentation <laughs> also not good. Was that a hint? I, yeah, sure. Is it wayward? <laughs> no, it's oh, not. Okay. Are they that's still around? Funny. Didn't they? Oh, that's aren't they happening. one of a thousand yeah. breweries that are in voluntary well, administration? Yeah, um, I've I've sought more information about that. Um, coming coming soon. Just a bit of bit of a bit uh, a better explanation as to what happens during that process. That would be pretty cool if um if they get back to me. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this brewery that we're going to do it's from Sydney. And it could possibly be the future of brewing. I already know who it is, so Zach, you can guess. Like, yeah. I know because he, I had to pre-sort oh, of everything, so I know. They like, have a mountain in their name as well? They do not. Isn't there one called Future Mountain? No, there is. Uh, there could be. Oh. I'm not sure. Is it but Future it's Brewing? It is Future Brewing. Oh. Hey, can you look that up for me? Yeah, Future Mountain Brewing and Blending, but they're in Victoria. Ah, oh, okay, I got my states. And they're state. permanently closed. Oh. Little town called Victoria. Yeah, oh, Future cool. Brewing, pretty exciting. So nah. this is the first one. We've got an NZ Pearls, 5.2%. Does this mean that this might be the first of this style? We, we've we been... Nah, we, we would have done it. We October haven't had too many... Pe- uh, yeah. But have we done like a... I should probably let you read out what the beer is first, like properly. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so it's we'll an NZ Pills. I'm pretty bloody excited about it. Let's have, let's have a little look here. Oh, oh he's got his notes. Oh, yeah, his physical notes. notes. Yeah, because no, we've done two other Pilsners. Uh, the Burnley Brewing Be- Bohemian Pilsner with Seeker Brewing on our <laughs> Oktoberfest pod and Shaw Brewing, which is was named the true NZ Lager, but it's listed as a Pilsner okay. on Untapped. Interesting. There you go. We'll dive more into Contro- this soon. Controversial. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, we're going to do a uh, Pilsner first, but I'll, I'll go through. What have I got? It got me um, a bit of rustling of the notes here. You, would you like me to tell you a little bit about Future Brewing? Uh, yes, of course. Can I pour a beer a first? Bit. Yeah, you, oh, can, well, you, you can do that whilst. Yeah, so uh, Future Brewing is an independent microbrewery owned by Brady and Laura. Uh, Founded in 2020, Future Brewing has a focus on quality beer using forward-thinking brewing techniques, creating balance and flavour in every beer they brew. Jeez, what's that say? <laughs> well, how is it? You all know. I've, I've you missed know a what's team. crazy? It's is good. He- he goes, what does that say? I was about to mention that you're clearly the oldest on the pod because that font is huge. <laughs> yeah, and it seems I've used 17 a, pages, it's it actually going to be um, one. I've used a typewriter because I've missed the T in future. Um, future Brewing aims to push the boundaries while respecting the methods of the past. Uh, what happened? Big, big no, well, when you remove the T in future, <laughs> it becomes a bit fewer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's okay. That's, oh. that's, that's another episode. Yeah. Um, 
Simply put, um, we believe that beer should be tasty, <laughs> fun, and enjoyed by everyone. And we do too. So here we go. And I'm I also really like straight away um, the bottom of the can where <sighs> they've got the, uh, usually have the use by date. It says the future is here. Yeah, the I know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Can art's very minimalist, but I really, really like it. That I'll could be a 4.25. Imagine if they didn't do, oh, they don't actually do a use by date. It's just the future. Yeah, but that yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. That's pretty cool. Um, so I did mention Sydney, but I think it's St Peter's on there, um, which, if you know your um, Sydney geography, um, is from the Mecca. It's around sort of that that sort of oh, area. Marrickville. Oh, yeah, Marrickville. St oh, Peter's. Yeah. yeah, all that. So between Marrickville and the airport. So I tell you what, we should hit up St Peter's on the way it. after you fly into Sydney. Yeah, head into St Peter's on your way into Marrickville. Absolutely, and it's yeah, it's bloody, it's look, it's looking the goods. I'm gonna get straight into this. We should probably like try and face it or something. I don't know. We're in like the face what? Like, I wonder what way it is. <laughs> yeah. The I podcast guess. room should face. Well, we're facing. <laughs> we're definitely not facing Marrickville. No. I'll tell you that. It's probably that way. It's probably behind us. Well, it's, yeah, that direction somewhere. Okay, we probably can't, can't Very do that. Very disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we start talking, we're all muffled. But no, the, the reason I um, got a bit excited, and uh, when we're talking about the New Zealand pills, um, Hudson, I'm, I'm not sure, like, you haven't been there for the conversation Simon and I have been having, but lately, through this summer, Simon and I have been going on about how good West Coast Pilsners are. Oh, yeah. So, obviously, they're a Pilsner with the, the modern, modern hops. It is is my favourite style of the entire summer. Um, And I was actually thinking, I didn't know if we'd done one on the pod. And the first beer Simo pulls out almost fits the bill. But um, from the... Fits the pill. From the... Fits the pill. Mm -hmm. From the research (laughs) I've done, I'd like to send a shout out to Punky uh, at Mountain Mark, a friend of ours, who actually sent me... And the kids won't know what this is, but he sent me a magazine in the mail. Yeah. Yeah. that had it was a, a brewer's Sports magazine. Illustrated, yeah, yeah, <laughs> with a note on West Coast Pilsners, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and it had a big article about the rise of West Coast Pilsners, and um, from that, I actually learnt that apparently um, the best uh, style of hops to complement uh, the Pilsner malt is New Zealand hops. Yeah, right. Well, that was um, one part of it that mentioned that. I mean, you can use anything, I'm sure, but um, yeah, this is delicious, and it is. March and it is thirty-five degrees, so it's, it's still summer. So this is a summer beer. Yeah, it's red hot. It's fucking red hot. Did you read the blurb? Oh no! So I've got I've got more information. I just wanted to introduce the the brewery. Oh, sorry, first. but <laughs> <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We I are just, back. Instead of reading the blurb, I just read the blurb. <laughs> the blurb. Um, well, because you've got information on the beer, but the blurb with which we score off is. This NZ Pills was dry hopped with Freestyle, Nelson Savon, and Motueka. Yeah, well, that's as, the blurb. That's good. As advertised. Bloody strong as advertised. Yeah, strong. I like Are you doing thing. a bit of painting, Bob Ross? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am. How oh, good. <laughs> Why is he holding? Yeah, uh, I'm in a, uh, a biopic about him coming out. Bio, um, biopic? I don't know when we had this conversation. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, with yeah. Owen Wilson? Wow. 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 Really? Yeah. wow. Barbara. Wow! <laughs> wow! Want you look at that? Wow! Wow! What a painting! Wow! Wow! Yeah. Um, sorry. Ah, uh, this is this is beautiful. This is why I've been loving this style. Yeah, it is. It is quite good. I've sort of come back around. I think um, uh, in Brooklyn Nine Nine, they were talking about um, that bloke who liked a pilsner. They're like, oh man, he sucks. He drinks pilsners. Oh, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, Teddy. That's right. Um, but yeah, Teddy I, was right. But this, yeah, Teddy, Teddy was right. I think they've come back around, and I've come back around to them. And yeah, it's a it's a very good beer. This right. one's good. Yeah. Banks did a Pilsner recently that I bought, and it was called Teddy. I wonder if that's why. Oh, oh maybe. Hmm. Could know. be. Good show. But, um, but this is more on the um, it's more of the crisp Pilsner side than the hoppier side. But I can still get the uh, Mortuweka for sure. That's um, pretty funny. But I mean, obviously, it's um, it's a pills. You'd expect that. Um, but some some of these ones are super hoppy, and you don't know what sort of beer you're drinking until the until the end. But this is a this is a beautiful beer anyway. That's pretty much what what the blurb is. NZ Pilsen is clean and crisp with a pronounced hop character from a generous dry hop of freestyle Nelson S- Savin and Motueka, uh, like a West Coast, Coast like a West Coast IPA, but with the low AB for Pilsner, lean but and crushable but hop forward, perfect for a hot summer day. Bloody, I'll say, Ooh, how yeah. good. It is oh, a yeah. hot summer day. Uh, um, One point eight standard drinks. If we didn't mention in five uh, four forty mil can. How many yeah. dollar dues? I bought it as a four pack, yes. so I am unsure and I forgot. How much to was a four pack? It was bloody cheap. 
So, <laughs> so how do I score that? I can, I can Go with what you feel. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. In the meantime, so th- I've been very excited to do this pod because it's been a long time coming. And do you know how long it has been coming for? How long is a piece of string? No. August 2021. I've been, what? Yeah, so they launched the Instagram and started oh, putting oh, sorry, some beers. I thought you, oh, thought you bought, bought the beers. beers. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, yeah. no. So, Christ. yeah, so I've been um, trying to track these down um, since August 2021. So, um, poor old Brady's been fielding all my questions. That's $49. That's pretty good. That equa- What's that? $12.25 per can. Yep, that's good, I reckon. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there are a few flies around, dogs. Because it's hot and a little bit humid. Yeah. A little bit humid. Um, This is my first future beer that I've had. Um, Great introduction. Yep. Yep. Um, I I need to be honest with you guys. I have had all of these already because I I purchased them a little while ago. And then I thought, oh, maybe like they might have... I I wouldn't want to bring them on the pod and maybe they've been going a bit long. So I drank them all. And bought another four pack, oh, so nice. so there you go. And I was quite happy to. But um, so, what do we think of the beer itself? Excellent. Um, it I'm, is excellent. I, I thought that when you brought it out, um, it was because you just uh, you've been listening. To, well, obviously, you're part of the conversation, but you've been listening to what I've been saying, and you went, "Got to make sure Grazzi's got a big." New Z, uh, NZ pills to yeah. start with. And you haven't. It's just here. It is part of the pack and it's and, awesome. And you know, that is that is what I thought. I was thinking. I was like, I need to get Grats of pills now. So that, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you're happy about that. Now, but look, Hudson, are you also learning there's a few breweries with future in the title? Oh, there's a future, yeah. future magic. But I reckon you could, any word would have at least two or three breweries. Yeah. Any word. Any word. Any word. So I've been thirsty. I bet there's no brewery with thirsty in the title. <laughs> Not no, at all. Be. Anyway. Or mountain. Yes. I was just seeing if I've rated any. I, like if I've ever had one. As, like far as, fluke. as far as their releases, they sort of did one and I think, forgive me if I'm wrong, November was sort of the first release. Then they did some in December and now they've sort of done a, a few more since then. So it's possible you might not have come across them. Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. So you can get them off their website. Really easy to deal with. I got a little personalized, or not personalized, but I got a little note with the first first <laughs> one because um, the the just juice was the first beer that I had, and they um, said, "Look, there might be a little bit of bloody sediment, but that's because it's juicy as all heck." Nice. And heck. I like that because you know when there's a bit of sediment, you sort of worry You're like, "Oh, what's going on here?" But it was just good to get the little heads up. Um, but yeah, that that was delicious as well. If you if you happen to which buy one? Another, just juice, just juice. Also, oh, yep. is that part of what we're going to be having today? Um, it is not. Just oh. jeans. <laughs> oh dear, so that's but, okay. No, but very good. Um, very do you want to know? What do you want to know? You want to know something else? Yep. Oh, here Can we, go. we have another beer? Oh yeah, I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, yeah, all I'm right. Real thirsty. Yeah, cool. Well, we'll finish this. It's hot. But yeah, I reckon this is um, ro- on an extra long weekend. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. Did you make the trip you were mentioning? Yeah, went yesterday? out to yesterday. What's this? No, Friday. Yeah, I went out to Mita Mita Brewing Company. Nice. Yeah, it was. It's awesome. I love it there because like you go there and it's like in this little valley. It's in its own little area. It's got a big fenced in grass area for the children. And there's a slide, and Teddy went down the slide and made every old person in the venue watch him go down the slide. Yeah, he went to every table and went, watch me slide. <laughs> yeah, good. Now, now, now watch, watch me, Nate. <laughs> no, nice food. Now watch his slide. <laughs> now watch his slide. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Very good. Um, yeah, this was an awesome bit. I could have 10 of those. Yeah. And I know it wouldn't be good to have 10, but I could. And I would be proud of myself. Yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> delicious. Mid are still run with the same. Um, are there anything new? Like, I, I really like the beers they make for the reasons why nah. they make them, but they seem to have that core range they stick with. Yeah, no, it was all the same, like, stuff, um, except the um, caf, cafe or caf lager with Platform 9 is on nitro. But it's on nitro in cans now. But I think last time I was there, it wasn't on nitro. To be fair, it was three years ago. Um, it was the day that Simon's life flashed before his eyes. Um, we went up there and he was not real happy with how fast I drove. Oh, he, he drove... Which was uh, the speed limit. Nah, man. Like, no, that <laughs> like, did not speed. Uh, no, but like it was quick. You were, you were driving... You were back Ignoring in the, the recommended speed signs. Go-kart days. Like it was... It was <laughs> Like afterwards, I feel like great, like over the radio, great drive, Hudson. Well done. Everyone's in the background going, woo! Pole position. <laughs> and then you're doing this, and then you do a donut at the end, but it was pretty good. 
Um, um, I just realized I'm like, oh, when are we having this other beer? I realize I am the one with the beers. So yeah, yeah. I will get one. Last, I can last thing on um, Mitter, I do think that their black black velvet <laughs> revolution is Mitter. very underrated dark beer. Yeah, I had I had the calf lager and then that. And yeah, it's nice and light too. So I had yeah. a couple of pots and it's um, very reasonably priced. We had two main meals, a um, couple of beers and a lemon, lime and bitters and it was 60 bucks. Oh, that's pretty Perfect. good. That's yeah. pretty good. But, but, Mitter, Mitter aside, we need to remember why we're here, which is future. The future. So the next one, we have Daily Juice. So this is pretty cool. Daily Juice, double dried, hop, <coughs> hazy pale Ooh. ale, 5.5%. 1.9 standards. Um, this juicy pale was double dry hopped with Citra, Mosaic, and Montueca. Sub, oh, and also Sub Zero Hop Keith. Cool. Keith. Keith. <laughs> um, I should have asked before on the other beer. It said freestyle um, hops. So, Rucker, Rucker, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? I guess. They were just like, ah, chuck it in. Who yeah. cares? I don't know. No, I reckon there's a no, lot of these, done. like. Sort of new fancy ways that they're using um, using hops, but is freestyle just grab it and chuck it in and do nothing to it? Well, I don't know, but I reckon they were probably you know the the shed was open. They're like, "Oi, you come throw some hops in." That is like go and get anyone to throw them in. Oh, oh freestyle the hops is a place. Ah, oh, they're the growers. Yeah, oh. Anchors, Nelson, Savannah, New Zealand. Yeah, I didn't so know freestyle that. hops cool. is in. No, uh, I can't. Upper Motte, Motte, New Zealand, um, which is on the. <laughs> South Island. Yeah, cool. Yeah, between oh, well, Blenheim. Oh, well, it's near Nelson. I just learned something. Who would have fucking thought? It's near Nelson and uh, not far from uh, Savin. <laughs> Savin. Wherever. I, I forgot how to say that. I need to look that up. Would you say well, Savon? Savon. Savon? I don't know. Siobhan? <laughs> anyway, good stuff. Pour the beer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. Yeah. Jesus. It's, it's that kind of hot where you're just like, pour the beer. Anyway, uh, well, I was exciting. just when you were like, and we're back after a long layoff. I was like, yeah, it'll take us a while to hit for, hit some form. But then I was like, our top form's not really that great, so we're probably no, there. we're probably yeah, probably <laughs> no, not too far. No, you say it. that. However, I be, just to make sure I knew what our format was, I went back and listened to some old episodes. Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit better than we give it credit for sometimes. Okay, there you yeah. go. Yeah, that's good. Maybe it's picked not, a good ep- definitely not no bias. Maybe it's picked a good episode, but <laughs> oh no, you know, it was just like yeah. it was informative, bit of banter. But, you know, after all, that's up for the fan to decide. <laughs> so, Yay. Yeah. Yay. Of which we don't even have one in no. the hot so good shed. No, today. that's it. It is pretty hot. Anyway, cool. Would you like me to no, tell I'll you? tell you, there is a fan. It's that's Simo's laptop. That's it. Oh, is that it? Ready, is that what that noise ready is? Ready to take off. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably pretty concerned about that. I'm so um, ready. I am ready. I probably need to do something. That's very hazy. Yeah. I reckon with Pretty all good. the money coming into the pod through sponsors, it might be time to upgrade the laptop. The laptop? Yeah, right. Well, that's true. There is a lot. Um, it's buried. It's in the walls. Simo will upgrade his car before his laptop. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Mm. Yeah, that's delicious. It's nice and light. Still hazy, but nice and light. Well, is you can tell it's, it's a pale, pale rather than mm. yeah, e- Eper. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Um, would you like me to give you some more info? Yes, please. Okay. Do Very we good. have any choice? Uh, you do not. Cool. Um, yep, cool. So, <laughs> just about the uh, about the owners, Brady, Laura and Dion. Uh, before coming abroad, Brady was an environmental scientist and Laura worked in supply chain. After a trip to Laura's native US in 2014, beer has been at the centre of everything they do. Inspired by the craftsmanship of brewers, um, breweries in the US, this seeded a passion for Brady to start home brewing. Passion became obsession and in 2018 it triggered a move to the States to immerse themselves in the Californian brewery scene. Brady then attended the University of California's master brewing course uh, to learn his craft, and the rest is pretty much bloody history. Nice. Brady is the brew man, and Laura is the brains behind the business side of things with experience um, in business operations and, as mentioned, supply chain. Now, you might, mem- you might remember there was another one, Dion. Dion. Would you like me to tell you about Dion? Yeah. Dion. Go on. Dion is the most lovable brew dog, an unofficial mascot of Future oh, Brewing fuck. since 2015. Yay. Um, <laughs> by the looks, he, he's a great Dane of some sort, and he looks like a, a real fella. Yeah. Hey? Hey. Do you want to have a look at him? Mama do. Oh, okay. Like, he's, it's worth a look. He looks like a real dude. Dion. No, like, go, he's on the website. He's a part of it. Don't worry, get in there. Um, go They're to home. Boys. Home. Go home. Go home. Search scroll down. Look at right now. Oh, oh yeah, that is. Is that, that a great is Dion? 
Yeah, that's a great Dane. Yeah, what a bloody ripper. How good. Get he on looks you. pretty great. Good on you, dude. Also, not just saying this to suck up, but Brady and Laura, what a fantastic looking young couple. Yeah, they're cool. I could never wear those boots. No. They're like, they look cool. Because they'd go halfway up your shins. And be <laughs> 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 that's pretty good. That's pretty good. A bit of a... <laughs> What's a, these boots were made for walking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jukes are hazard um, about those boots. Uh, for those, for those, the booty um, for those playing at home that aren't aware, I'm short as fuck. Well, it's not that you're short mm. as fuck. It's just that you're yeah, short little legs. Your torso is like at my knees. Yeah, it starts at my knees and just keeps going. <laughs> that's true. Um, it's it's not very um, it's not very convenient when you're on a long walk because you progressively <laughs> get further and further behind because of my stride length. Uh, so it's that like, it's like when um, uh, someone has two dogs and one's like a great Dane and one's a Dash Hound. <laughs> so <laughs> the Dash Hound. Real uh, long, but the legs are working overtime yeah. to keep up. <laughs> no, nah, that's true. That's true. So, Very good. So I feel like I'm just paying you out today. Oh, fuck. I don't care. Who cares? Go for it. Low centre of gravity. You're low centre of gravity. Exactly. What do you think of the beer? It's really good. Yeah. It, you get, yeah. It, uh, the as advertised, uh, good score because I think doing the blind, uh, doing the blind taste testing... I'd know this wasn't an IPA, despite the fact if I looked at that, yeah. that looks and smells a bit like an IPA. Yeah, it does. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have that extra bitterness. It's yeah. just, yeah. Really, really nice. Now, um, Hutto has just fact-checked me. So I believe the University of California, like that's in Sacramento, which is Davis. Is, is that correct? Well, so there's several, there's a couple of UC, UCs. So oh, well, anyway, UC, UC Davis. Davis. So I do apologise for that, um, just in case you turn up to... University of California, other campus, and go, hey, you want a brew? And they go, you can't brew here. <laughs> Get out of here. Why were they slightly <laughs> Scottish? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's University of California, Berkeley, San Diego, LA, Irvine, Davis. And just check that Davis Sanford. is in uh, Davis is in um, Sacramento or not? It's the northernmost of the 10 campuses of the University of California. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, let's and have a bit of a look. it is there. Which is, yep, yeah, just outside Sacramento. Well, you were impressed that I knew that. Yeah, that's not bad from you. Thank you. you I think if, I, if any of the mm. three of us, it would have been you that knew that. Mm. Random YouTube knowledge. Um, what was that, Gratz? Give a price for this beer. Oh, they, were they all the same? same. They so yeah. twelve dollars twenty-five. Yeah. So I reckon that's pretty good. Um, oh, it's near Sugarfield. I'm wondering if oh, um, now there's been another um, beer tax excise or whatever it's called. Uh, what's the kind um, of termolo- terminology? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that maybe we should uh, be a bit more kind on how we do the value because, um, you know, prices are well, in f- well, the inflation. inflation. Is, oh, inflation I see, I'm not an economist, so I can't factor in inflation. That's yeah, a I as, a, as a mortgage person. What? Mortgage person. Uh, you know. As someone hey, with got a mortgage. mortgage. Yeah, yeah, got a mortgage. mortgage. Yeah. Like, yeah, unfortunately, I have to think about it even though it's boring. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, but do you understand it? Well, I understand it a bit more now from that. <coughs> also, like researching the, um, as we talked about, the um, breweries going to voluntary administration and like how it all sort of links together and how the government really are screwing over the industry. Um, because at the end of the day, it's more for like your CUBs and your multinationals. And it's like the poor, mm. poor like independent brewers are just like hop at it when they're already like, you, you know, you're spending more anyway because of quality and. Um, Ingredients and now all these taxes that are not fair. What they need to do is brew and make non alcoholic the, the future of breweries is non alcoholic beers because this is my one gripe with the craft brewing industry is like, why are they so expensive? Well, there's a lot that goes in it, I guess. Yeah, I know, but like kombucha's not that much. Yeah, I reckon different processes, but it, but as well. So, um, when's the last time you bought a schooner like Bloody Carlton Draft or something? Like, a, it's getting up there too. Like, if that's yeah. in double digits, then that's horse shit too. Like, it's it's not good. It's not good. But I think I think there are, like Grazi's right, there are a lot of taxes um, surrounding it. The, yeah, like, you know, they have the fuel excise, they've got the fucking Alco tax and all that sort but of stuff. But wine doesn't, uh, wine receives, like, cuts or something, wineries. Like, it's a slightly different. Like, it's yeah, a little bit t- sort of unfair. Not too, sure, not too sure what the reasoning is behind that. Maybe the two industries are sort of differ somehow. I don't know, one's seen in a better light. I'm mm. not too sure, but... Anyway, this is a pretty bloody good beer. What do you reckon? We'll keep doing our best to enjoy uh, the fantastic beer that all the independent brewers we'll of keep buying it. Australia yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll keep making it. Way. Yep. This is 5.5. It doesn't taste like a 5.5, does no. it? It's nice and light. Yeah, it's good. And I'm really, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting through all of these. One in particular, I won't tell you which one it is. 
Now, I mentioned that um, I've been traveling around a little bit. I do need to tell you guys a story. We're talking about um, multinationals or the, the big <coughs> boys. So, Stone and Wood. They're obviously not independent anymore. However, yeah, they still we'll make. Beep, we'll beep that out. They still make quality. Uh, qu- look, they still make quality beer, and they've got the, their special. How do you? Uh, they had their special. But they had a, I had a rosemary IPA while I was there. They had like, a yeah. special one. Um, I love rosemary. Did it smell like yeah, it? Yeah, it was so good. They had um, the, of course, the counterculture. Some people may have had, which is the Petra Hop uh, Hazy IPA. So it comes this in the, one, it comes in the five hundred mil can. So it's like three standard drinks. Um, but a little story about that beer and um, the best one was like that lemon meringue one that they did. That's pretty oh good. yeah, and they did a naked stout too. I think the first one I ever had. The counterculture. Yeah, yeah. but um, <coughs> they, they, I'll tell you what, this might actually get them in trouble. So maybe lucky they've got that uh, CUB um, backing. But while uh, while we we're at the brewery, we we're getting ready to leave, and um, so it's like oh, I want to I want a six pack of the ginger beer, which is the little dragon or something, I believe. Never heard of it. Um, yeah, Never so apparently they make that. So um, just got to grab a six pack, and of course um, the. Enthusiastic four year old wanted to help. Um, so he ran off with her. And then I was like, oh, I need a can of that Petra Hop Hazy, though, which was sitting near the bar. So um, they run over. And then, um, so it's like, Cass, can you grab dad's beer that he wants? So he grabbed it off the thing. And Cass walked up to the bar and put it up there. And the bloke's like, hey, go, mate, just that one. And then also put Soph's ginger beers through. And I realized. That is very illegal. That four-year-old should not be able to purchase a beer over the bar. <laughs> yeah, but he unfortunately his card didn't work anyway, so so yeah. had to buy it. So there's no real worry there. But yeah, he, yeah, Are you almost, buying alcohol? Look on a technicality. However, yeah, um, the the vibe was fantastic. It was Byron Bay, and um, the guy read the situation very well. But uh, I had nothing but good things to say about the brewery experience as a whole. It was fantastic, including could, the food. He could uh, tell you when from there because you're wearing shoes. <laughs> I was wearing thongs, and I made sure I wore my Parkway Drive singlet, which had Byron Bay written on it. Oh, very good. There's nothing like announcing that you're a local by wearing a shirt with the name of the town on yeah, it. Oh, that's, that's also true. Uh, <laughs> um, I think a shirt with I am on holidays would be a good shirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm not from here. Yeah, I'm not from here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think that. Yeah. Like someone honks you in traffic and you get out. It's like, I'm not from here. And they're like, they're oh, like oh, sorry. So, so that's what, so not the same thing, but just before I was um, going home from work, Someone indicated to go right, and then they didn't. They just almost plowed into me. And I'm like throwing hands. I'm like, what the fuck? And they just went, and I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. It's like, yeah, it's not. Fr- I'm not from here. Like, sorry. Didn't, it's like it just Was it at the so five quickly. ways? No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. It was, uh, they were trying to go into that weird car wash near the <laughs> servo there. That there's like... <laughs> Is that real? I just picked a weird car wash and they're it's like It's just one man in Speedos with a squidgy. <laughs> yeah, like, like, hey. They're using Coke instead of water or something. Yes. <laughs> it's oh, so uh, weird. Yeah, anyway. So, there you go. Coke in the bubblers. Do we want another one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll fish one out. This is it out. Mary Poppins bag. My text is on the wane a little bit. But it's all right. Wayne. As long as you can read it, that's all that matters. Oh, what's he done? I thought he knocked the cans over. No, no, no. <laughs> my cans. <laughs> my t- I had two cans. Oh, I like that can. Hold it colors. up. Hold it up. Yes. Good. Real itchy. Oh, well, that's. don't blame that on the can. <laughs> um, yeah, I like that too. So what have we got, though? We haven't read it out. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, middle ground IPA, 6%, 440 mil. How many standards? 2.1. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 2. <laughs> 2. <laughs> Are you playing prices right? Didn't mean to do that. That's a bit uh, of a... 2.1. 2.1. <laughs> 2.1. <laughs> 2. <laughs> 2. <laughs> 2. <laughs> had a bit of a tremor. 2.1. Yeah. What have we got? Now, was it got written on at Rewaka? Is that what's written yeah. on the front? Yeah. yeah. Is that... Oh, no. Well, who's the um, 90s and early 2000s WWE person? Oh, yeah, I can picture him. Yeah, I feel like there's someone that had the name similar to Rawaka. The Polynesian gentleman, not the Rock. Rikishi. Yeah. Yeah, there you yeah. go. That's him. Yeah. Yeah, the Usos' dad. Is he the one that died recently, the heart attack, with no. the fa- that had the face things? You know, the heart attack with the face. <laughs> Umaga. You know, oh, Umaga. That wasn't even recently, unfortunately. That was a while ago. Oh, he was very young. It all blends. Um, most of the Samoan wrestlers oh. are actually related in some way, shape or form. They had a big. The Rock brought out this big family tree, and uh, showed how. Yeah, I was, was watching. Um, Where's he in it? At the top. He's in it. Yeah. Nah, what, no, oh, nah, oh. Nah. Who is at the top? Rock. Is it Roman Reigns? Is it The Rock? Who is the actual no. head of the table? We I don't th- know. No, I thought you meant like the family tree. The family tree would be the oldest, so mm. it wouldn't have been Rocky Johnson. Who was his? His dad. Oh, High Chief Peter Maivia. Yeah, that's was it. The Rock's grandfather. I know that because I watched Young Rock. 
Oh yes, on television. Of course. Um, so hang on, on what? I, I'm lost here. What we are, are talking about the family tree of what? We are of the, um, the Samoan wrestling but like family. The fake fa- like I thought, bloodline. I thought we were talking about tree, the family tree of the Samoan people. You know, the Samoan oh, so wrestling. Like that, like, that's a lot. Yeah, fraternity. However, um, we're in a really interesting timeline at the moment where everyone hates the Rock again. Yeah, I saw that. So he came back and just like was booed, and now he's yeah, he's a, he's a heel again. Yeah, fair enough. Didn't see that coming. Uh, why? Why did that? Why did that occur? Oh, because he came back and everyone's like, it was like I think people are sick of the part timers just coming back going, oh, I'll take it from here. Yeah, you yeah. Know they I mean. show up and they're like, here's my, I'll be here for thirty seconds and get a meal and then and get get the title, take off. the main event spot, and then I'll piss off and leave you guys to do it full time to just. Well, I guess worry it would kind of suck, like if you're a fan of the guys that like are there every week, but they. They just won't pull the crowd that The Rock will. Like, even like a, like, I know CM Punk came back, and it's like CM Punk's what he he is, but like, if The Rock shows up, everyone's like, oh yeah, that CM Punk dude, he can, I like this guy. Yeah. Like, the, it's The Rock. Yeah, and the guys that are there all it's the like time. It's like John Cena as well. It's the guys that are just front and center in pop culture. Like, they're, WWE, but then it's like you turn on a movie or you're watching TV and a trailer comes on. And it's like, oh, The Rock's in this. Oh, John Cena's in yeah. this. Yeah, Batista, another one. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, he's in a lot more. He, he's actually good, though, yeah. as an actor. Well, you say, though, like, I mean, John Cena plays his roles well. His comedy roles are actually very good. And The Rock's had one good. <laughs> no, no. It, Ballers was great. Ballers was awesome. But, it, like, it, that's it, what I mean is, like, everything else he's in, it's like, yeah, fine. You're the macho guy. Like, Fast and Furious is like, oh, yeah, big dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Can you play big dude? <laughs> yes, yes, he can. <laughs> um, so, so do, we, do we read a little blurb? Yeah, go sorry. for it. Oh, this modern. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's right. This uh, mod, middle ground. This modern IPA was dry hopped 100% with freestyle Rewaka. There you go. And the more, uh, the extended blurb. Um, This modern IPA lands somewhere between an East and West Coast style. A single hop showcase of Ruwaka brings a melange of exotic citrus and dank tropical fruit, papaya and gummy candy. How good. Oh, Oh, your texture too. You're you're out. You're out of the game. I wonder if it's the board because it hasn't been used in so long. (laughs) Um, real, I, I'm always very interested oh, these oh. days with single hot beers. So yeah, this is this is a nice little treat. This is um very very nice because I probably wouldn't have had a single hop Rawaka uh, beer before. Yeah, I don't reckon I have either. And yeah, to be honest, a single hop were a bit of a they're all the range for a little while. Um, but yeah, they sort of fell off a little bit. It is good. Whoa. It's like whoa, that's what that tastes like. What happened? That's a weird hop. Is it? Well, it's like piney, but it's. Also, like candy, it's almost like candy. Yeah, exactly. That's what candy the, that's, as advertised. That's bloody. We're sitting between an east high. and west coast. Yeah. So what's that like? A Nebraska IPA? <laughs> Did South, I get that geography right? So, yeah, South, South Dakota, Dakota. <laughs> Kansas. Not in Kansas. Wyoming. Yeah. It's just a bunch of bear blood. <laughs> Fudge, sake. So I tell you what, I've given fours all round so far for each beer on Untapped. Just a really, really good. Solid, but probably better than solid. To be fair, me um, too. Afternoon on 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 these beers. These, these are awesome. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, um. Oh no worries, guys. Bless you. Hudson. Sorry, Thanks, bless you. Fellas. Sorry, no, I was going to go back into it. Both of you guys are very strong sneezers. So it's an oh, it's gotten it's worse an assert- since kids. An assertion of dominance. Yeah. Uh, have you, has yours gotten worse since you've been a dad? No, but you've heard my sneezes. They've always been like that. Well, we always yeah. thought you were playing tennis. Yeah, so exactly. Hudson would sneeze and we'd say forty love. Anyway, it's which is funny. just weird because it'd be one sneeze. How have I already played two points before the third? No, to be forty love up. It's funny because we're just joining it in it already. You know, you know? but you're suggesting that I've sneezed another two times to win the point. And how do you know that I didn't lose the point? No what? one's saying <laughs> no because when you crush an ace, that's what it sounds like. That's what you're doing. You're crushing an ace. Oh, okay. Yeah. You should, fist pump, you should fist pump after yes. each sneeze. You should. Yeah. Come on. I uh, hate that guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe unpopular opinion, but I never liked Leighton Hewitt. No. I wouldn't. went for Marit Safin yeah. in that <laughs> final. Which final? The Who won? Mid-2000s Australian Open. Where maybe 2006? Leighton never won one, did he? No. He won, I want to say the US Open, but no, Marit Safin beat um, Leighton Hewitt. I think since Marit Safin... The only three people that have won the Australian Open at 
uh, there's like, oh no, Vavrinka's an outlier, but before that it was like Djokovic, Nadal, Federer. Wasn't this year the and first time year, in like yeah. nearly 20 years that one of them wasn't in the final? Yeah, yeah. Uh. That's pretty Thank God for Yannick Sinner. I know Sinner, people that have Djokovic. been turned off tennis because of that. Like, they just sort of get a little... Like, people that aren't massive fans, but they get a little bit sick of the same people dominating all the time. Whereas, historically, it's but cool it's, we're living in a period of time where there are three athletes that are that well, incredible. like, yeah, you're watching... Like, it's funny. In every sport right now, there's, like, a guy that is arguably the greatest of all time. Mm. Which is pretty... Like, to be in a era like that is crazy. Like, or maybe not football, but up until two years ago, it was Tom Brady... AFL, you got like Dusty still running around, um, and then well, we might be like day, soccer. Day cost might be like a new yeah, one. Soccer, yeah, soccer. There's Ronaldo, Messi, basketball, LeBron. Um, yeah, like name any sport, and there's a guy that could be considered the greatest of all time. Yeah, which is pretty incredible. And then to like see it for that long, like we got to watch Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic as much mm. as I don't like Djokovic for a long time. I do wonder whether um, because like as you know, people would get better at stuff. Um, that that will sort of turn over a little bit quicker. Sports science, do you reckon that helps? Maybe this is I a don't whole know. Podcast that we can yeah, talk it is, about. But like but you know, yeah. so. But there are outliers like LeBron will be one of those people because he was like the best for arguably like most of his career as well. So, um, anyway, oh, look at Simon over there with his good text up. Yeah, I know. Well, I, did you give it like the campfire rub before you? The old uh, I Just I just looked looked Freer. after. It, I guess I think probably the fans blowing out hot air. It might have done something. <laughs> that the fans. Uh, oh, yeah, is that the ASMR? Yeah. All right. You got more info. Can you do it with your. You got more sheets. Oh, I do. Ring? I do have more sheets. I've got some random facts. Yes, love this stuff. So is it about the brewery? Yeah, but they're not. Okay, they're not. They're not so <laughs> random. But like, um, well, they're random to to me and yeah, anyone yeah, yeah. that doesn't know about yeah. them. So, that's so inspiration behind the brewery name. The name Future Brewing comes from studying and working in the U.S. It was immediately realised that the U.S. scene was far ahead of Australia, and the goal was to bring some of that experimentation and innovation back home and take Australia into the future. Nice. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, actually, you'll like this, Grazzi. Um, I won't. Okay. Yeah, Hudson won't. <laughs> Is there a particular style ingredient or trend in beer you'd like to explore further? I really love West Coast Pilsners. Hey. Clean, crisp lagers meet hoppy West Coast IPAs. It's the best of both worlds. Yep. So that was November 2023 that that was that Yeah, was that was when so I... There you go. So I need to actually say thank you to Bolter because uh, the one that they did, which... Um, and I think I tried to say the, the name of it to you, Simon, and I got it completely wrong, but yeah. um, they... Oh. It was their... It was <laughs> the Mouth Holiday like series they were doing. Yeah, or that's... Something? What oh. did you say? Yeah. You said being wrong. Yeah. Well, surely it was Mouth Holiday. That's <laughs> Mouth Holiday. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, if, the, if if I'm wrong, that's a great brewery name. Oh, jeez, um, want to go on a mouth holiday. holiday. Why uh, would it be Mouth Holiday? I don't know, because like... I'm afraid to type in Mouth Holiday. Bolter Mouth Holiday. Am I right? The, this Hazy IPA is oh, yeah? your first stop on a USA Mouth Holiday. Well, uh, but is it called... <laughs> USA Mouth Holiday Cloudburst Hazy yeah, IPA? Yeah, so the series is the Mouth Holiday. So one oh, of the beers geez, they did in the series yuck. was a West Coast <laughs> Pilsner. Uh, yeah. And I, I just bought one just like, oh, okay, it's summer. And I was I was so gobsmacked by how much I liked it, I straight away went out and bought a four-pack. Yeah, well, I haven't, I haven't checked, but I wouldn't look up Mouth Holiday on Google Images. Yeah, see, I don't I know. Do. I'm not <laughs> too sure what you get. Did that one past the PR team? Yeah, I'm oh, not too right. sure. But, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Next round, in fact. You know what we're up to? Oh, yeah. Well, I skipped one, so anyway. Uh, why do you brew? I enjoy the technical and hands-on side. Um, it's how but I also get love paid. the creative and fun <laughs> aspects of experimentation. Background in environmental science. So I already had a big interest in science and home brewing. Brewing um, is as scientific as you want to be, but there's also this creative side, especially when it comes to choosing the names and can art, the styles and expressing, expressing your own flavours. There you go. Mm-hmm. Do you want another? Oh, yeah, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Oh, 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 that's right. Oh, my God, it yeah. keeps falling over. Now, this one. This one. <laughs> this one. Is this is the real deal. Would you say we're about to go on a mouth holiday? This yes. is the real deal. All juice. And I can tell you what, it is not bloody. That all is juice. as advertised. Um, it is, yeah, anyway. All juice. Double dry hopped. Hazy double IPA. Oh. 8.2%. Oh. 28 um, all juice. Jump. This juicy dipper was double dry hopped with citra, 
Um, Citra Cryo, Mosaic, Mosaic Cryo, Nelson Savon, Sub Zero Hop Keefe. Simo's like, I'm about to ruin these guys' whole afternoon. Yeah, well, this is this will take you on a brain holiday. I think. <laughs> um, if you, yeah, if you if you're looking to switch off, um, this is the one for you. Um, this is the I might have a bit of a tremor. I'm keen as um, I'm keen as to bloody um, see what you think of this one because yeah, it's all right. All your scores, is, is, is and if we need another glass, I'll just reuse what I just had. Well, because you guys if you haven't want, had you it. You can drink it out of the can. It. Nah, <laughs> oh. I'll just have. I'll have that. That that was mine, wasn't it? Yeah. So you guys have the fresh ones because you haven't had it before. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, I thought that was going to be Terminator for a sec. Copyright. Sorry, banging music for the look at that. We should get like an actual like a, a sponsor or like a poor music. Poor so everyone knows that we're what? pouring Tuck the beer. Oh, poor! Oh, poor. I was like, yeah. what is porn music? <laughs> well, speaking of mouth holiday, <laughs> um, <laughs> we we're talking off air about how a lot of um, podcasts are interviewing um, adult film stars. So like, we should probably send the feelers out and try and get someone on to try some beers with us. Well, I suppose so. Oh, oh, he won't drink much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got it? Uh, buggos. There's the a little, yeah, there's a few buggos in the can, and there's always that elderly. In the can or in the? In the, I don't know. Wait, but you, there's always that elderly person that says, oh, you won't drink much, which is true <laughs> for the most part. Because he won't. Now, get your nose in this. <laughs> but in terms of that like, hair out isn't it? it like oh, no, there's, there's one still there. They, they're kind of just, they keep just coming up. I rip them out all the time. But when, he, when you say he won't cool. drink much, that's obviously in reference to the amount that you'll drink. But for him, he's probably drinking a lot because he's only a little fella. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. But if he if he had a little so bit of a sip, he would have thought, that Woo! is fucking delicious. Did you have it, how'd it go, Gratz? Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to settle. It's, it's There's a lot, a lot of lingering going on. He's just on finding out where the mouth holiday's taken him. Also it's thought of so a good beer name, Drunk delicious. Bug. Drunk Bug, yeah, there you go. And he could use Morton Bay Bugs <laughs> oh. in a stout. I don't want to oh, put... Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, that's funny that you say that because oyster stouts are actually quite good. Yeah. Dainton? Because there's that? something to do with... Oh, no, um, squid ink goes. They did squid ink goes, but like... It's something to do with the one. proteins or something that makes it smooth. Did you have the sequel to that? Something. Dayton 2, squ- Squid Ink Goes to College. You are right not to laugh. Were you, talking to, were you talking to me? I said, did you have the sequel to that Dayton beer, Squid Ink Goes to College? No. What? Is that it's Spongebob? Because you're like, oh, yes. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> Is that a Spongebob? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hardo was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Squid Ink Goes. I'm like, oh, in the sequel, Squid Ink Goes to College. Oh, I get it, yeah. Oh, All right. No, the Spongebob. <laughs> uh, no. It's, it's Can't wait to listen back to this. Yeah, Is no, that right. a Spongebob? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, no one's surprised that it come from me. <laughs> Far out. What do you reckon of the beer? You I don't wanks? know why that's so funny, but it is, like <laughs> it's so classic me. Because I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't say Bob Smart. Oh, um, that's <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It is, that's isn't it? The it's be- beer of the day, yeah, I think. It, is. it really is. I was actually think? hoping for all fours across the board because I was that would be the most consistent brewery we've had on the pod almost. But um, it's a bit better than that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I really like this one. It's a, it's a SpongeBob for sure. <laughs> this one, um, Bob Sponge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you f- swag? Oh. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, no context. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, I'm just real again. upset about this texter. No. Do you want to borrow mine, please? Yeah. There you go. Share it around. Awesome. No, Can you cut good. that? I didn't. I don't want to be known as the guy that said <laughs> S L A G on the. That's it. That's okay. Um, would you like another fact? Yeah. Oh, you've got heaps of info. This is good. This is the best info you've brought, I reckon. Yeah. yeah it's because you got like four months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but I did it yesterday, <laughs> mind you. I did it yesterday. Um, where do you hope your brewery will be in 10 years from now? Um, we hope to be putting out some of the best quality beers in Australia. And with that, um, have a busy tap room, which allows us to stay relatively small and sell the majority of our beer direct to consumers. We could see adding another t- tap room in a coastal suburb by then too. So that's pretty exciting. Coastal suburb. Oh yeah. Like. What do you got? Bunda. Oh yeah. No, Bunda. I don't know. I it doesn't say. It doesn't say. I don't know. Dy. Tamarama. That's a nice spot. Tamar- yeah. What's Tamarama? Tamarama is around from. Tamarama. Yeah, Tamarama. It is Tamarama. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's not Tamar- coastal. Tam- yeah, no, <laughs> it's not. Um, also, so. Um, before I forget, where can you get their beers? So futurebrewing.com.au. Um, 
is also is it can you get them in other is it just through those got I'm asking the question I know um, can <laughs> Four you get months them of any, research I know but you can definitely get them through their website it's very quick um, they send them out really quick I ordered them well reordered them and they came within a couple of days um, also they tend to be in the, tend to be a few little handwritten notes there too which is pretty good um, if I put in future brewing all juice into the internet's only their website comes up. And that's okay. That's fine. That's good. <laughs> yeah, um, that's okay. But as well, <laughs> other, other places coming up soon on, depending on when this comes out, but March 9th in Brisbane, um, what's it called? Juicy Beer Festival in Brisbane. They will be at this year. So I think that might be Oh, there. that was recommended to us yeah. via social media. Yeah. I will so just say. YouTubes. Um, so it actually doesn't matter when this comes out um, because we're past that even as that of recording. You said March 9th, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. I meant 16th. Yeah. But I was thinking of your birthday. Oh, cool. It was Grats' birthday the other day. Oh. Well done, Grats. Good on you. Right, um, so <laughs> well done on ageing. <laughs> well oh, I think I'm doing okay for like 43. I mean, you made oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, not 43. Um, at this festival, range, working title, mountain culture, wildflower, Fox Friday, Kicks Garage Project, and Finback. Did what? he say Wayne? I swear he said Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> it's the um, Yeah, it's the speech... <laughs> Pathologists, um, it's range, but Wayne bought it. Yes. <laughs> oh no, but um, the guy who plays um, Angel from um, Dexter. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ! I thought you were gonna say Angel. Yeah. Like, is that the guy from Bones? Angel Batista. Yeah. Oh, the guy from yeah, the guy from Bones. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's pretty much. That's pretty much all I've got. Bones. But I, I was very, very happy to do this pod. I was very excited because yeah, I, I had a look just back at my Instagram there and. It, Saw it come up. I really liked the what attracted me to it in the first place was the branding. I thought the the logo is cool, and the photos they were putting up on the Instagram early really got me interested. But yeah, Paul Bugger, I've been um, uh, messaging those guys since August 2021, so I'm glad to stand here, buddy. Almost, buddy. It was worth it. This might be yeah. one of my favourite ones you've brought. There you go. No, the, it's good. The pod. It's and awesome. I've already got my next one organised. It's so organised. Yeah. What's happening to you? I'm not too sure. Not too sure, but yeah, no. A couple excited. of uh, New Year's resolutions, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Where did be. you write them? What scores is the uh, That's the last one we had. That's this one. the second and third. Okay, so that's the all juice. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let me type in some score. What did you give it a 5.25? No, three, 3. All strategy, Carton. Let's okay, 3.25 is for all the blurbs. Just... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, well the blurbs not, are more as advertised as. Well, I gave yeah. a 3.5 as a blurb because it tells me what the beer is, but it doesn't give me any. It's not well, humorous. Well, yeah, when we no started, troubles. yeah, the and blurb thing, it was more about. All juice. First this one. one. Yeah. Half. That's one of the highest untapped scores, I think. think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I gave it a 4.75. I gave it my biggest score of the, the day with a 4.25. Yeah, no, it was really bloody very good. Nice. Yeah. 4.7 par. Oh, Whoa, Jesus. Simo. Hey, having a go. Talk soon. Um, People still say that. I haven't heard that for a while at a pub. That's because no one catches taxis anymore. That's true. And also, who goes to the pub? Well, I, I've been. I haven't been. To, oh, no, I went to the brewery. Yeah, well, that, yeah. what are you talking about? You went the other day. Is that a pub? Ah, does that yeah, count? Yeah, it's a brew pub, surely. Future brewing. Here. Okay. So, all juice is 11th. Whoa! Nice. For, nice. for Untapped. Yeah. Middle Ground, 70th. NZ Pills, 78. And the Daily Juice, 79. But can we just mention that 79th is a four? Yeah. Yeah. Like also, four out of five we're, is 79. And we're, we're yeah. well past 100 now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. But, like, that's more so, like, we have good beers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we seek out good beer. Yeah. yeah, and we have done this week with uh, with these guys with Future Brewing. And yeah, I'm, if you're eleventh, oh man. Yeah, and there's also have you have you got their website still up? There's yeah. a few that I'm pretty interested in um, interested in trying. Drum roll. So what do we got? So yeah, they look like the can art looks awesome. Maxo Relaxo Double yeah. Dry Hopped Hazy Pale. Yeah, nothing oh, but Nelson a Double Dry Hopped Hazy Dipper. Yeah, Big Westy a West Coast Double IPA. Yeah. Just Juice, which you mentioned, which is Double Dry Hopped Hazy IPA. Yeah. And the one thing I would also like to note, if you have a look at those, the pricing is very reasonable. Like, they're very well, well priced. Well, the bloody tax excise hasn't hit them, has nah, it? Ah, yes. Well, no. Nah, what's it? The most expensive is the Nothing But Nelson, which is... What percentage? Like, that's only $13 a can. Yeah, there you go. Um, also, just on the excise, we'll, no, have, to, we'll have to look... $14 a can. We'll have to look into that a little bit more because I think it's based on the ABV. 
So it might, not, as you said, it doesn't like non-alcohol beers and low alk um, is are becoming more popular as like the margin hero for those um, breweries. But anyway, this was this was a pleasure to do. As I said, um, thanks, thanks to Future Brewing. Hope uh, hope you see it and hope you like it. Um, but you're doing a bloody good job and good beer and we like your work. Yeah. We like ours. Yeah. Sorry, we're so sweaty. Yeah, we we are. And if you didn't know, we're real sweaty. Like like real like re- oh, wet. record yeah. breaking sweat heat. <laughs> no, no, but actual. Like first thing on the news today was the records broken yesterday for March nights heat in Australia. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's really good. All right, on that uh, on that note, we'll leave you with it. And um, yeah, bloody kick a barrel, drink a nice beer. I wait to take my shirt off. Thank you.